I'm Archdeacon Rod Bauer and I welcome you to evening prayer for Saturday. The psalm is Psalm 68, beginning at the 24th verse, and the reading is from Revelation chapter 13, beginning at the 11th verse. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. Therefore can I lack nothing. He shall make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of deepest shadow, I will not be afraid, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup shall be full. Surely your goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 68, beginning at the 24th verse. Your procession is seen, O God the procession of my God and King in the sanctuary. The singers go before, the musicians come after, and around them the maidens beating on their timbrels. In their choirs they bless God. Those that are sprung from the font of Israel bless the Lord. There is the little tribe of Benjamin leading them, the throng of the princes of Judah, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali. Give the command, O God, in accordance with your power, that godlike power whereby you act for us. Give the command of your temple at Jerusalem and kings shall bring you tribute. Rebuke the beast of the reeds the herd of bulls amidst the brutish people. Tread down those who are greedy for silver. Scatter the peoples that relish war. Let them bring bronze from Egypt. Let the hands of the Nubians carry it swiftly to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. O sing praises to the Lord. To him that rides upon the hev highest heavens that were from the beginning, who utters his voice, which is a mighty voice. Ascribe power to God, whose majesty is over Israel, and his might is in the clouds. Terrible is God who comes from his holy place. The God of Israel who gives power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. Lord Christ, eternal word and light of the Father's glory, send your light and your truth that we may both know and proclaim your word of life to the glory of God the Father, for you now live and reign God for all eternity. Amen. A reading from Revelation, chapter 13, beginning at the 11th verse. Then I saw another beast that rose out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, and it spoke like a dragon. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf, and it makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast whose mortal wound had been healed. 
It performs great signs, even making fire come down from heaven to earth in the sight of all. And by the signs that it is allowed to perform on behalf of the beast, it deceives the inhabitants of earth, telling them to make an image for the beast that has been wounded by the sword and yet lived. And it was allowed to give breath to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast could even speak and cause those who would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Also it caused all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead, so that no one can buy or sell who does not have the mark, that is, the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let anyone with understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a person. Its number is 666. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. For once raised from the dead, Christ dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For since one by one man came death, by another has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Stir up, we pray, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people that they, plenteously bringing forth the fruit of good works, may by you be plenteously rewarded. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal One, we give you thanks for Peter, our bishop, along with Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops. We pray that you will continue to bless them and to encourage and strengthen them. We join with the first peoples of this diocese, the Awabakal, the Biripai, Darkenjung, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We pray for a true sense of reconciliation. We pray too for the leaders of this nation, for Scott, our Prime Minister, for Dominic, our Premier, and for the National Cabinet. We pray that as we continue to come out of lockdown, we may be guided by wisdom. We pray for all emergency services personnel, for those working on the front line of the COVID crisis. We pray for scientists continuing to look for cures. We pray for all who are affected in Africa and Hong Kong by the new variant. And pray that our leaders may make wise decisions to protect us. We pray too for all whose lives and livelihoods are being affected by flooding. 
raise up many among your faithful people to stretch out a hand, to rescue, to heal, to comfort and to assist. We join in prayer with the parishes of Christchurch Cathedral, Hamilton, Katara, Lambton, Merriweather and Cooks Hill and with the staff, students and families of Newcastle Grammar School. We pray for all who will prepare for worship this weekend. We pray that their words may be your words and our thoughts may be your thoughts. Pray too for all who minister as chaplains in juvenile justice, corrective services and post-release in hospitals and aged care facilities. Bless them in their ministry, we pray. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Come to visit us, Lord, this night, so that by your strength we may rise at daybreak to rejoice in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen.